right, guys. Appreciate the warm welcome. Uh, I was told there were only going to be a few people here, so this is awesome to see uh, so many people turn out to, to this event. I think maybe uh, we should have given the iPad away after the keynote. I'm hoping we don't have a lot of attrition here now that the <laughs> But thank you for being here, and, and hopefully uh, we, can, we can spend some time this afternoon and, and have an interesting discussion about some trends in mobility. Uh, so, uh, as was pointed out, my name is Tom Karen. I'm one of the co-founders of Monkey Networks. I've got one of my colleagues, uh, Brad Hensey, here with me today as well. I think some of you may have gone to a presentation that he did. He did a couple, so you may have had some exposure uh, to our business. Uh, what we'd like to talk about today is uh, the synergy that we see between mobile and cloud, and thinking beyond just the device. Um, we all get a little fixated on these mobile devices, we personalize them. My wife has the most ridiculous bejeweled case that you've ever seen on hers. Um, and I think there's a lot of technology behind the scenes that we don't always think about with mobile. Um, and that's part of what makes it really, really interesting. So we want to talk about thinking beyond the device a little bit today. Um, if anybody uh, wants to follow me on that Tom Karen on Twitter, um, usually kind of posting interesting about what's going on in the mobile world. Uh, always up to follow you guys too. Um, I've got some friends in the room that, uh, that I like to follow. Um, for example, Dave's always talking about airplanes. We share that interest, so I like to see his posts, posts there. Uh, just a little bit of information about me. I am a serial uh, tech entrepreneur. I've been in IT for about 20 years. Uh, building products, building companies. Uh, I created a company called Wingate Web over a 10 year period with some co-founders that was a SaaS business in conference online, conference planning space. Uh, exited that business and uh, started Milky Networks about two years ago. I've always had a focus in my career in emerging tech, uh, looking at technology that's emerging and figuring out ways to create value for customers and partners. And that's what we're trying to do at Milky Networks as well. So uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, if you'd like on Twitter. We can chat there. One of the concepts that we wanted to kind of talk about a little bit today is this concept of dual disruption. Um, as as uh, we all know, because we're here, mobile is an extremely disruptive technology. Um, usually in the history of technology, it's not just one thing that creates disruption, it's usually more than one. And I would submit that cloud computing is the other really big disruptive technology, and that those two things together are what make mobile so interesting. The other quick point here is uh, that we live in the post-PC era. Uh, now, there are companies that dispute this. I think maybe you look back and dispute this statement. But I believe that it's true that we live in the post-PC era. It doesn't mean that PCs are going away. Uh, it just means that all of the new hotness is in mobile. Um, <clears throat> mobile devices are everywhere. Uh, and we'll show some, some stats about some of the penetration that's, that's happening. So this is the obligatory pie chart slide that shows smartphone penetration and OS share. 62% uh, of adults, 25 to 34, have a smartphone. Um, almost everybody's got a smartphone. There has never been an adoption rate in information technology like there has been with uh, mobile devices. Think about the PC revolution and networks and adoption of the internet. All that was fantastic, but the adoption rates with smart mobile devices have, have outpaced all of those rates of adoption in the past. So just talking a little bit about cloud, um, and, and one, of the, one of the kind of focuses that we want to want to talk about how, how come mobile is so awesome is focusing in on cloud a little bit. Um, one of the things about cloud is that your data and your apps are everywhere. Um, I remember when I first switched to Mac platform. Hopefully I'm not offending those who don't have Macs here. Uh, in 2004, uh, Microsoft Windows and Exchange lost all of my email data. The cloud got corrupted, it all got lost. So I switched to Mac and I had a little bit of uh, success with the Mac and, and not losing my digital assets. Um, but you know, I was thinking, you know, I really need to switch to IMAP and technologies that can make it so that I'm not going to lose my digital assets. And so that's one real benefit of the cloud is 
when we put our information, our data, and, and our relationships into the cloud, now we have a secure medium that we can use and access over the many ways. The cloud is a scalable infrastructure. These mobile devices that we use today are very limited. One of the most limiting things is battery. Um, they can only put a processor in that won't chew the battery up too fast. Um, I had to bring him up for Brad because he chewed through his battery today by 3 o'clock. So the, there are limiting factors to these mobile devices. The screens are small, the processors are not the most powerful. Um, and so how do we make magical stuff like Siri happen? Well, we put it in the cloud. The cloud is a scalable medium that allows us to do more interesting things with mobile. The cloud is pay-to-go uh, for developers. Maybe we should just pause for just a second and get a feel for the audience here. How many folks in the audience uh, would consider themselves to be developers or programmers or something of that nature? So I would say the majority of the audience is, is a developer. Um, marketing and business folks that are here today, maybe you raise your hand. Okay, that seems like about the rest of it. Um, Pay-as-you-go pricing is awesome, um, especially for independent developers who who you know, may not want to set a server up and, and have a co-location space. It's awesome to be able to pay for resources as you use them, and that's one of the benefits of the cloud. Uh, the other really cool innovation in the cloud, and, and one of the things that's really disruptive, is that there are these turnkey cloud platforms now. When I started my first technology business in 1998, the company Wingate Web that I described before, um, we spent a significant portion of our revenue setting up infrastructure. You know, a lot of our money went to Oracle, a lot of our money went to Sun Microsystems, um, and you know, a lot of our money went to data center colo providers because we were providing enterprise services for the Fortune 500 to plan their corporate events. Um, you know, ten years later, we have these cloud solutions like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, a Google App Engine that are turnkey environments to to, to leverage for mobile developers. And now, of course, Apple has iCloud, which is a turnkey environment for the iOS stack and, and the Mac stack. Um, these, these innovations in web services uh, are turnkey, and they're, they're something that can help you um, create more innovation in your solution. So a few of the game changers in mobile. Um, everybody's seen there's an app for that. Um, four years ago, no one knew what that meant. Now there are <coughs> Alone. Android is growing as well. Um, you know, at, at Moki Networks, we get a lot of people coming in and they want to talk to us about maybe an idea that they have for an application or they have an existing business solution that they want to move into the mobile space. And one of the first things we do is we go and we try to find it and see what's out there. Uh, chances are, with 500,000 applications in the store, a lot of the obvious ideas have been done. Um, and so, you know, that's one of the things that's great for consumers about mobile is if they think of a problem, there's probably an app for that. One of the things that's challenging for the developers and the marketing folks in the room that want to make money off mobile is your idea, there already may be an app for that. Um, iPad is greater than PC. What we mean by this is we, we believe, and I think a lot of people would agree with this statement, that uh, tablet computing in general is going to some degree, there's already ev evidence of that fact. Um, I've heard unconfirmed reports that Apple's iOS business, which is their mobile business, is already bigger than Microsoft's business in aggregate. So, um, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot to start to understand. If you look at the rate of adoption of mobile devices, if you look at the innovative new emerging opportunities to solve problems with mobile devices, if you look at the rate at which mobile devices are improving, Tablet computing is going to be bigger than PC computing. It's a bigger opportunity than PC computing ever was. So you ask yourself the question, why? I think one of the reasons that we, we don't always think about when we think about why is mobile so cool, um, in a sense, mobile is information technology evolved. All of the things that have come before, awesome operating systems, web connectivity, faster, smaller processors, 
all of those things that we've done in information technology and primarily for businesses have now been put in a really small, cool looking device, which you can get a thousand case for and put in your, in your pocket. Uh, so to, to a degree, we're talking about the, the consumerization of information technology. We've taken this, this IT, we've evolved it, we've made it easier to use and put it in the hands of uh, everybody out there. Another thing that makes mobile really cool, it's always with you. Obviously, um, I don't know about you guys, but you know my iPhone charges on my bed stand at night. Um, you know, if, if it's ever not in my pocket, I have a panic attack. Um, I think you know we've grown to be pretty accustomed to having these these devices with us, and so we always we always have access to our information. We always have access to the services that we want to see. You know, if you want to check. Uh, score a game at 3 in the morning when you, when you wake up, you can do that. We're always connected. Uh, connectivity is, is getting better. Uh, for those of us who've been with AT&T, I know it, it's been a struggle. But uh, it changes your behavior. You know, when you're in line at the post office and all of a sudden you have a little connectivity, you can reach out to a friend on Facebook where before you may, you may not have been able to do that. And I think the, the connectivity aspect of mobile devices is one of the things that's led 